Pourquoi vous m'aidez comme ça ben Parce que je suis ton professeur et que c'est mon rôle. Mais non, mais pourquoi avec moi et pas avec les autres Écoute, j'aime pas faire des compliments inutiles, mais je trouve que tu écris plutôt bien. Claude is a schoolboy, but his literary talents have opened up strange adult worlds. He's obsessed with writing about his classmates' happy home life, mixing truth and fiction into a libidinous concoction that could leave him drunk on power, were it not for the guiding hand of his teacher. But what if Teach has developed a taste for the source too? Tu sais ce qu'il avait dans sa poche, le cinglé qui a tué John Lennon, Catcher in the Rye. Mm. Qu'est-ce qu'il lui a appris la littérature à ce fou-là Rien. Ça, c'est évident que tes expositions nous en apprennent davantage. Mes expositions, c'est exactement la même chose. L'art, en général, ne nous apprend rien et tu le sais très bien. Mm. Oui, enfin, ça nous éveille à la beauté des choses. Tu veux boire Peter, there's a hint of adaptation here, a bit of Bergman, a bit of Woody Allen, maybe, oh, as definitely. well. Yeah. Is this, is this a film, a writing about writing film that works, um, or is it...? I, I thought it worked brilliantly well in the first 20 minutes. I thought it was almost like Chabrol, something very strange and sinister, and this, this boy insinuating himself like a parasite into somebody else's house with this curious, ambiguous, at first not obviously sexual obsession, but then much more so, and I was on the edge of my seat for it. And then it kind of, I think it sort of lost its way a little bit, really. I never quite knew, well, where are we going with this? Are we leading to some great revelation? Are we leading to some terrible moment of shock or suspense? And it gradually kind of leaked away a bit, but it, it has terrific poise and elegance. And of course, Fabrice Lucchini and Kristin Scott Thomas, I mean, they just give it so much elegance and, and, and dash and style. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of comedy in there as well. It is, what, oddly, they go and see a Woody Allen movie, and the Woody Allen movie they go to see is, oddly, Match Point, which is where their taste appears to, <laughs> appears to let them down a little this bit. This is better than Match Point. Well, well it stress. is better than Match Point, but it is, I think, influenced by late period Woody Allen. It is a bit sort of Melinda and Melinda, to be honest with you. Not that there's anything wildly bad with that, but it's not the, it's not the excellent, excellent Ozone movie that I was hoping for. Eventually, I thought the levels of reality kind of got a bit clogged. Mm. But that's not before we've seen a really intriguing and amusing film. Mm. How does this work then in the way that Trance doesn't? Because they both share that kind of what are you, can you believe what you're seeing type? I, it, keeps, it keeps a lid on it, basically. I mean, that may be a, a fatuous thing to say because part of Danny Boyle's process is to blow the lid off it. Mm. But I found this much more interesting, and it's about implied violence, whereas, again, trance is about real-world violence. Uh, and it's, it's more shapely, in a way, and there's more of a sense of just pure success, uh, of a kind of cost-effectiveness of the intellectual input, as opposed to the output of pleasure that you're getting moment by moment on the screen. J'avais remarqué que ses parents l'attendaient souvent à la sortie des cours, se tenant par la main. Il y a plein d'autres garçons qui auraient honte de montrer leurs parents ou bien honte que leurs parents viennent les chercher à notre âge. Rafa non. Rafa n'a aucun problème avec ça. Et je me demandais, comment peut-elle bien être sa maison C'est comment la maison d'une famille normale 